The recent statistics provided by medical experts have indicated that lifestyle diseases have increased in the East New Britain province. While there are necessary expertise in hospitals, diseases like diabetes and art-related diseases are left unattended to as hospitals prioritize other medical conditions. This means that a diabetic patient may be diagnosed and admitted to the hospital, but once discharged, the routine checkup of the patient by medical staff is not consistent. They no longer need medication. Dr. Al Maha and his team from the Disease Control Unit at the Maravut Resource Center at the Nonga General Hospital is trying to fill this void that government-run health institutions can't adequately cater to. Most of the hospital deals with acute illness, uh, like malaria for example. You get sick, you come, you get treated uh, for two or three days and then you're better, you go home, you don't come back. Whereas with disease control, we, we focus on those diseases that need long-term treatment and also those diseases that cannot be cured, so they will be on treatment for the rest of their lives. Currently, there are an estimated 24,000 diabetic cases and about 84,000 cases of hypertension, or simply high blood pressure, reported in the province. While the ongoing awareness of these lifestyle diseases may not appeal to individuals, its impacts can be devastating. A lot of our people now uh, have had a leg cut off. We have a lot of people who have had both legs cut off for diabetes. Um, we have a, a lot of stroke patients who cannot walk, who cannot eat, um, and it's, some of them, their, their wife or their husband sometimes has to leave work just to stay home and look after them, and this means that they, they are a burden on the rest of the family. While HIV and tuberculosis have become the center of attention of the country's health system in recent years, curable diseases like diabetes have been marginalized making it a matter of urgency that is killing people unlike any other incurable disease. Edwin Fidelis, National MTV News, Kokopo.